Welcome friends, I am Engineer Nasir. In this video, I will explain you how to select grills and diffuser. We use different types of air outlets in air conditioning like square ceiling diffuser, round ceiling diffuser, perforated diffuser, supply air grill and register, bar grill, linear slot diffuser, jet diffuser, door grill, non-vision transfer grill, swell diffuser, disc wall, etc. Now we will study how to select them one by one. At the end of video we will discuss for the recommended sound levels and neck velocity for grills and diffuser. We will start first from the square ceiling diffuser. To make easy to understand let us make a sample calculation. Let us assume we have an office of size 54 by 34 square feet and height 9 feet. The total airflow CFM is 4200 CFM and we distribute in the office by 6 number of diffuser 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So when we divide it by 6 then we get 700 CFM for each diffuser. Square ceiling diffusers are of 4 types. Number 1 4 way air pattern that supply air in four direction 1 2 3 and 4 number 2 three way air pattern that supply air in three directions number 3 two way air pattern that supply air in two directions and number 4 one way air pattern that supply air only in one direction the selection process for all the four types of square ceiling diffuser is same. We will do our study for four way air pattern type square ceiling diffuser. To select the square ceiling diffuser we need number one CFM that we have 700. Number two throw that we will calculate now. Number three NC level. For office we can use NC level up to maximum 30. Number four neck velocity. Generally we use maximum neck velocity up to 500 fpm now we will calculate the throw for the diffuser total throw is equal to horizontal throw plus vertical throw as we are supplying air to the office by six number of square ceiling diffuser and these ceiling diffuser are four way types so we can divide this complete office space into six equal parts let us select one from these six. So you can see one dimension of this one uh, sixth part of the office equal to 18 feet and another dimension is 17 feet. So we will consider which is larger 18 feet. And this diffuser is supplying air to right, left, up and down. So the horizontal throw will be half of this uh, 18 feet. That is 18 divided by 2 equal to 9 feet then for the vertical throw as the room height is 9 feet and it is general practice to consider the 6 feet from the finished floor as occupied zone so to calculate the vertical throw we will minus it from the total height total height is 9 feet minus the occupied zone height which is 6 feet then the vertical throw will be equal to 3 feet then the total throw will be equal to 9 plus 3 equal to 12 feet now we will select the FCU size from here we should have CFM 700 throw 12 feet and NC maximum 30 so let us see in the first row which is 6 inch by 6 inch size so here the maximum CFM is 225 so we cannot use this for the second row 9 inch by 9 inch the maximum CFM 506 which is also less than 700 then the third row 12 inch by 12 inch here we find the 700 CFM here but the NC level for it 38 which is greater than 30 so we cannot use it also then we will go for the next row which is 15 by 15 inch here we have two CFM 625 which is less than 700 
then the next CFM is 781 let us see the throw for these throw is 16 to 21 which is more than 12 so throw is ok then see the NC level for 625 in this 26 and for 781 is 34 so let us check the NC level for 700 CFM by interpolation so after calculation we found that the NC level for 700 CFM is 29.85 which is less than 30 so we can select this uh, square ceiling diffuser of size 15 by 15 inch now we will check the neck velocity it is a general practice to select the grills and diffuser at a maximum neck velocity of 500 fpm so let us see for 781 the neck velocity is 500 so for 700 cfm it will be less than 500 fpm so it is ok now we can select the size for our square ceiling diffuser of 15 by 15 inch or 375 by 375 millimeter so in this way you can select the square ceiling diffuser for any cfm you need to calculate the throw and you need to consider the NC level as per your requirement and also the neck velocity. It is the section of a square ceiling diffuser. The top size A by A is its neck size which will be connected to the duct and the bottom B by B its face size which we, we, it will be looked from the ceiling. So you can select the square ceiling diffuser according to its face size also to match the tile ceiling so from here you can select the value of its face then accordingly from here you can select the corresponding neck size it is the face of the square ceiling diffuser that we see in the ceiling and it is its neck which is connected to the duct when we are using tile for ceiling so it is better to select the face size of the diffuser according to the tile size of the ceiling now we will study how to select supply air grill or register what is the difference between supply air grill and register the supply air grill without damper we call it supply air grill and the supply air grill where we fix the volume control damper on its neck we call it supply air register for selecting supply air grill and register there are four parameters we should know number one CFM for the grill number two NC level for that area number three throw or and draw for the grill number four neck velocity for the grill how to select a grill or register to make easy to understand we will do a sample exercise we have this room with dimension 15 by 20 square feet there is one FCU that is supplying air to the room with a flow of 400 CFM the length of the room is 20 feet that is the distance between the face of the grill and opposite wall so 3 4 of 20 will be 15 feet so we will select grill for this room with a throw of 15 feet now we will select supplier register for 400 CFM from this table so in the first table CFM start from 50 then up to 250 we will go for another table there are so many table like this so in this table we find here 40 C, 400 CFM then we will see the neck velocity we can go for neck velocity generally maximum up to 500 FPM so this is higher 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 here 470 but then we will see the throw throw is 20 to 29 and our throw value is 15 you can see there are two value for the throw so the first value of throw is a terminal velocity of 100 and the second value of throw is a terminal velocity of 50 fpm we will select our grill at terminal velocity of 50 fpm so we cannot select from here then we will go for next table here we found this is 400 
CFM then we will see for the neck velocity 490, 525, 580 so we can select these two then we will see the throw first 20 to 29 this is higher the second is from 12 to 18 so we can select this one then we will see the NC level less than 20 so all thing ok for this one so we can select this grill size 14 by 14 inch or 20 by 10 inch or 34 by 6 inch with a deflection of 22 and half then we will go for the next column neck velocity is 425, 455, 50 neck velocity for all is ok then we will see the throw throw also you can see this 18 and 16 so we can select this both and NC level less than 20 so in this way we can select any of these grill with deflection either 22 and half or 45 degree so as per your architectural requirement you can see which size match to you you can select any of these so in this way you can select grill for any CFM you need to check the neck velocity from here throw and NC value but when you order the grill you must mention the degree of deflection on which you have selected when we are doing selection of grill and register we should remember in general the occupant should not be subjected to a velocity above 50 fpm for an extended period of time as the air velocities below 15 fpm leave a feeling of stagnation and a velocity above 65 fpm creates drafts what is deflection you can see in this picture there are blades horizontal 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this if they are straight like this in this section then we call it zero deflection and the supplier grill or register with zero deflection value has the maximum throw if these horizontal blades are bent like this with a degree of 22 and half then we call this grill as with a deflection of 22 and half degree and its throw is lesser than the grill with a zero degree deflection if these horizontal blades for a supply air grill or register are bent at 45 degree like in this in this section then we call it a supply air grill with 45 degree deflection and he has the lesser throw than 22 and half degree deflection or zero degree deflection you can see in this picture when we are using grill at 0 degree deflection it has the longest throw when we use 22 and half degree deflection the throw became shorter and when we use 45 degree deflection this throw became almost half to the grill when we are using at 0 degree deflection there are some terms that we use when we select the supplier grill or register these are occupied zone terminal velocity throw and draw and this picture is showing the section of a room where a wall grill is supplying air to the room the height from finished floor level up to 6 feet we call it occupied zone and when the supply air coming out from the grill is striking to the occupied zone the velocity at this point we call terminal velocity and the length from the face of the grill up to the this point we call throw and the height difference between the center of grill and occupied zone we call it drop you can select a grill having throw equal to the distance between two opposite wall in this picture you can see this L you can take it as throw but it is general practice to consider the throw for the grill equal to 3 4 of the length and at a terminal velocity of 50 fpm now we will study how to select linear slot diffuser 
how to select a linear slot diffuser we will do a sample exercise for a room having dimension 30 by 20 square feet and the total air flow value 800 cfm we are using two number of grills to supply air for this room and the air flow for each grill is 400 cfm now we will select for it the linear slot diffuser length number of slot and slot fit now we will select the linear slot diffuser for these parameters total throw 400 cfm throw value 20 feet and c value 30 first we will select from the table for 3 4 inch slot width slot diffuser as we have total cfm 400 and in this row you can see this is cfm for fit let us try for for fit length which is standard so the cfm per fit will be 100 so we will select this column then you can see for one slot the nc value is greater than 50 not accepted for two slot also then for three slot 38 for four slot 31 for five slot it is 24 then we will see the throw throw value 33 and we need 20 it is more so we cannot select it also then we will see for six slot and c value is less than 20 it is okay but the throw is 35 then for seven slot throw is 34 and for eight slot thir uh, throw is 32 which is more than 20 so we cannot select any slot diffuser from this table for 400 cfm now we will try for one inch slot width so let us select this column 400 cfm per feet for one slot nc level more for two slot 44 for three slot 33 for four slot 25 but the throw is 33 which is uh, higher than 20 then we will see for five slot also this throw is 31 we cannot select it also then we will go for six slot here nc level is less than 20 but the throw is 29 it is also higher for seven slot this slow, uh, throw is 27 then for eight slot throw is 25 now let us increase the length of solar diffuser now we will select for a length of 8 feet so the CFM per feet will be 50 so we will select this column for one slot NC level is 41 for two slot NC level it is okay 28 but the throw is 24 and we need 20 then for three slot throw is 24 for four slot the throw is 23 will go down now for four slot the throw is 23 and for five slot we found the slope exactly 20 feet as we need but as we are selecting the linear slot diffuser of length 8 feet so we need to multiply this throw by 1.3 then it will become 26 which is also greater than 20 now we'll go for the next table which is for one inch slot width so we will select this column for 50 cfm per feet from here then we will go down for three slot we have the nc level less than 20 but the throw is 21 it is higher then for four slot throw is 18 and for 5 slot we found the nc level less than 20 and the throw is 16 so we will multiply this 16 and 18 by 1.3 we will see which is suitable so after calculation we found the throw which is 16 after multiplication it becomes uh, 20.8 so we will select this linear slot diffuser length 8 feet throw a slot with one inch and number of slot five so in this way we have selected a linear slot diffuser for 400 cfm maximum throw value 20 feet and maximum nc 30 a linear slot diffuser of length 8 feet number of slot five and slot width is one inch 
so in this way you can select linear slot diffuser for a given parameter for supply air if you need to select the linear slot diffuser for return air then you need to add a value 4 to all NC level given, given here suppose you can see here the NC level is 21 if you are selecting the return air uh, linear slot diffuser then you need to consider it 21 plus 4 25 so the NC level here will be 25 horizontal throw value in the performance sheet is given only for one way pattern if you need to select the grill for two way pattern then you need to follow this process to determine the two way throw you can use the catalog data for the desired quantity of air from the number of slot in each direction and reduce the throw by 20 percent all throw data in this performance sheet are based on 4 feet length of slot diffuser. If we need to select different length than 4 feet, so we need to multiply this value in the performance sheet by if we need to select 1 feet length then by 0.6. If we need to select 2 feet length of slot diffuser then we will multiply the throw in the table by 8. For 3 feet length by 0.9 and for length from 6 to 8 feet we need to multiply the throw values by 1.3 similarly if we need to select a slot diffuser of length 2 feet then we need to add minus 3 to the NC values in the performance sheet for a length of 3 feet we need to add minus 1.5 for slot diffuser length of 5 feet we need to add plus 1 to the NC value and for selecting the slot diffuser from 6 to 8 feet we need to add to the NC value plus 2. How to calculate two way throw for a linear slot diffuser? We will do a simple exercise. We have total air flow for this linear slot diffuser equal to 360 CFM and the linear slot diffuser length is 4 feet. In one horizontal direction it has 240 CFM air flow and in opposite horizontal direction the flow is 120 CFM. Now we will calculate the throw for this two flow. We have air flow value 240 CFM for 4 feet length. So the CFM for 1 feet will be 60. So we will select this column. And this uh, performance the sheet is for 3-4 inch slot with uh, linear slot diffuser. Then let us see. The NC value is 47 for one slot and for two slot NC value is 33. Let us go to the one inch slot width. For 60 CFM per feet, NC value for two slot is 28. This is less than 30, so we will accept it. And the throw value is 22. To 26. This two throw value, you know, this 22 is a terminal velocity 100 and 26 is a terminal velocity 50 fpm. Then for 120 cfm, so the cfm per feet will be 30. Then we will see for one slot, NC value is 25 less than 30. Then the throw is 15 to 19 feet. We have selected this throw value from the performance sheet for 60 CFM per feet 22 to 26 and for 30 CFM per feet 9, 15 to 19 feet. To calculate two way throw we need to minus from this throw value 20%. So we will multiply this throw value by 0.8. So after calculation we will get the final throw for 60 CFM per feet will be 18 to 21 feet and for 30 CFM per feet the final throw value will be 12 to 15 feet. With the help of these deflection blade we adjust the flow for linear slot diffuser as per requirement if we need horizontal or vertical or one way or two way. We have two number of adjustable deflection blade in each slot of linear slot diffuser which help us to generate different flow pattern you can see it is horizontal left pattern it is horizontal right throw pattern 
it is fully vertical and it is fully closed these are different flow pattern for linear slot diffuser which we get with the help of adjustable deflection blade it is for two way horizontal throw it is one way horizontal throw it is vertical and horizontal throw and it is for vertical throw we use linear slot diffuser in different shapes you can see this is side wall inside corner this one side wall outside corner and this one ceiling corner pieces this one single piece and it is continuous consisting of different pieces now we will learn how to select the bar grill how to select a bar grill we will do a sample calculation we have a room of size 15 by 20 feet and total air flow value 400 cfm we are supplying air to the room by two number of side wall grill so the air flow for each grill is 200 cfm now we will select the size for this bar grill for the required cfm and throw supply air duct is running inside bulk head inside the room so the distance between the face of the grill and the opposite wall is equal to 11 plus 2 13 feet we have these parameter to select the bar grill we have 200 cfm for 4 feet length of the bar grill throw 13 feet maximum nc value 30 and cfm per feet will be 50 this table is used to select the bar grill with zero degree deflection the first column is showing the grill neck size nominal width in inches and the row on the top is showing the neck velocity for the grill 400 fpm 600 fpm 800 fpm we will start from the first row for 2 inch neck size of the grill cfm per feet value is 22 at 400 fpm very less then we will go for the 2.5 inch size cfm per feet value is 30 it is also less then we will go for 3 inch neck size here the cfm per feet value is 38 at 400 fpm velocity and 58 at 600 fpm velocity and the side wall throw is 7 to 8 and 10 to 14 so we will check now by interpolation if we can select this grill after calculation for 50 cfm per feet we get the throw value 12.4 we need 13 and the neck velocity for the grill is 520 fpm so we can select the 3 inch neck size for our grill having total cfm 200 and the length of the grill 4 feet so we have selected bar grill for our room having total air flow 200 cfm neck size 3 inch with a grill length 4 feet having throw between 8.8 .8 .8 to 12.4 feet this throw value 8.8 .8 is a terminal velocity 100 fpm and this throw value 12.4 is a terminal velocity 50 fpm normally we select our grill with a throw at 50 fpm when we select throw for any grill from performance chart we found there are always two or three values you can see in this chart there are two values the first value 11 is a terminal velocity 100 fpm and the second value for the throw is a terminal velocity 50 fpm sometime you will see three values like this then the first throw value will be a terminal velocity 150 fpm the second value will be 100 fpm and the third value of throw will be a terminal velocity 50 fpm the throw values in the performance sheet are calculated based on the 4 feet long grill and cooling temperature differential 20 degree Fahrenheit if you are using a grill with different length then these correction factor need to be applied for a grill of length 1 feet the throw at 100 fpm you need to multiply by 0 0.6 and the throw value at 50 fpm you need to multiply by 0 0.7 and for a grill of length 10 feet or continuous 
the throw value at 100 rpm you need to multiply by 1.4 and the throw value at 50 rpm you need to multiply by 1.2 Similarly, the NC values given in the performance sheet are calculated based on the 10 feet active grill section. If you are using different length, then this correction factor need to be applied. For a active length of 1 feet, you may need to make minus 10 from the NC values in the performance sheet. For a length of 2 feet, minus 7 and for a length of 4 feet, minus 4. For length 6 feet minus 2, for a length of 8 feet minus 1, then for a length of 15 feet you need to make plus 2, for a length of 20 plus 3, for a length of 25 make plus 4, and for a active length of grill 30 you need to make plus 5 to the NC values given in the performance sheet. When you need to use this bar grill for return air, then increase the NC value that is given in the performance sheet by 4 and the negative static pressure you can multiply by 0.8 Standard bar grills generally came in 3 types 0 degree deflection, 15 degree deflection and 30 degree deflection you can see this bar grill the bar of this grill is straight so we call it 0 degree deflection bar grill now these bar are bent at 15 degree so we call it 15 degree deflection bar grill and here these bar are bent at 30 degree so we call it 30 degree deflection bar grill and accordingly there are different performance sheet for each degree deflection of the bar grill you can see this sheet is for 0 degree deflection then this sheet is for 15 degree deflection bar grill and this sheet is for 30 degree deflection bar grill you can use any of these performance sheet to select the bar grill as per your requirement we use bar grill in different shape as per our requirement you can see this is a straight bar grill and it is side wall inside corner it is side wall outside corner these are ceiling corner and these are curved bar grills we will study now how to select jet diffuser. I will explain you how to select jet diffuser to supply air for air conditioning system. There are three types of jet diffuser that are commonly used. Number one ring jet diffuser or panel type. Number two eyeball type jet diffuser and number three drum jet diffuser. Jet diffuser is designed for applications requiring high air volume and long throw. It is suitable for side wall and ceiling mounted, best suitable for places such as airport, auditorium, long entrances and walkways. In this application you, you can use it as horizontal discharge and for gymnasium and swimming pool etc. you can use it as vertical discharge. For panel or ring type jet diffuser standard sizes are available starting from neck size 8 inch up to neck size 18 inch it is its face and it is neck the diameter of the face is 4 inch greater than the neck diameter there are 2 inch on both side extra this flange 2 inch this here and 2 inch here and the length is 6 inch you can see from this table for neck size 8 inch the face size is 12 inch for neck size 10 inch the face size is 14 similarly in the end for the neck size 18 inch the face size is 22 inch and the length for all is 6 inch this table is used to select jet diffuser First column is showing the neck size for the jet diffuser and the row at the top is showing the neck velocity in FPM. You can see these are different sizes for the jet diffuser and for each size there are different rows showing CFM, static pressure drop, NC level and throw. So you can select from here the CFM, NC level and throw value as per your requirement then from here you can select the required neck size for the jet diffuser for example 
we have a CFM 765 and we need NC level less than 30 so we will find here 765 CFM here and the NC level is 27 which is less than 30 and we can use it for a through up to 49 and the corresponding neck velocity will be 985 even by interpolation you can go up to 30 for NC level then the corresponding CFM will also increase and the throw will also increase eyeball jet diffuser is designed to supply air for long distance throw applications for large and high area such as concert hall, theater, museum, airport and shopping center etc. Because of their aerodynamic designs they give a long throw of air even at high outlet velocities and reduce noise level. Eyeball type jet diffuser We use this table to select the eyeball type jet diffuser. There are three combination for neck velocity. Number one 0.25 meter per second, number 2.5 meter per second and number 31 meter per second. The first column is showing the neck size for the jet diffuser and the second column is showing the throw 10 meter, the third one throw 20 meter and this fourth one showing the throw for 30 meter. Then for each throw there is two column, one maximum CFM then the second NC value so from here you can select the maximum CFM value then NC then corresponding neck size for the jet diffuser you can select from here for a particular neck velocity. Drum type jet diffuser it is suitable for both long and short throw pattern and it can be adjusted in vertical direction from 0 to 30 degree up and down. We use this table to select the drum type jet diffuser. The first column is showing the neck velocity in meter per second and the top row is showing the sizes for the jet diffuser in millimeter. First you finalize the maximum neck velocity then make a line so that we will not go below to select. Our maximum limit is 2.5 meter per second so we will draw a line. We will not go below it to select then we will search the required CFM and NC value and throw value combination for our requirement then we will select the corresponding size from here now we will learn how to select round ceiling diffuser, perforated diffuser door grill, non vision transfer grill, swivel diffuser, disc wall etc how to select round ceiling diffuser these are commonly used volume control damper which we use with uh, round ceiling diffuser this is radial type and another one is butterfly type to select the round ceiling diffuser we use performance data sheet that is provided by the manufacturer in this sheet you can see the first column is showing the neck size of the diffuser in inches and the top row is showing the neck velocity in FPM. You can see in this table there is different neck size for the diffuser 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch then you can see below 14, 16, 18, 20 and 24. For each neck size there is sub row in this sub row there is air flow in CFM, total pressure drop, total uh, throw in feet and NC level. From this sub row you need to select the CFM as per your requirement and NC level. Then you need to select the corresponding neck size of the diffuser at a corresponding neck velocity. If your duct is designed for maximum neck velocity of 500 FPM then you cannot go to select beyond this velocity to select the diffuser. Let us make a line after 500 FPM velocity. Then for 6 inch neck size the maximum CFM value will be 100 and the NC level will be less than 20 it is very good for 8 inch neck size the maximum CFM 175 for 10 inch 275 for 12 inch 395 and so on and NC level is always less when we will find then NC level is 
मोर देन आवर रिक्वायरमेंट सपोज वी हैव द मैक्सिमम लिमिट थर्टी एन सी लेवल एंड वी गोट द एन सी लेवल मोर देन देन वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द अकॉर्डिंग टू द एन सी लेवल बट इफ योर डक इज डिजाइन एट हायर वेलोसिटी एंड यू कैन सेलेक्ट द नेक्स्ट साइज एट हायर वेलोसिटी देन यू कैन फर्स्ट सी द एन सी लेवल सपोज फॉर सिक्स इंच नेक्स्ट साइज we can see the nc level 25 30 if our nc level limit is 30 so we will select this one and for this we have the cfml for 6 inch neck size 195 but we need for it 1000 fpm neck velocity if you can provide if we have in our uh, duct for the neck 100 fpm then we can select this 6 inch neck size For 195 cfm. Similarly, let us see for 14 inch neck size round ceiling diffuser. We will see the NC level. Our maximum limit is 30. So this 29, then 33. So we will select this 29, and the corresponding cfm value is 750. And the corresponding neck velocity need 700 fpm. If we have in our duct neck velocity 700 fpm, then we can select round ceiling diffuser of neck size 14 inch for a maximum CFM value 750. Perforated square ceiling diffuser is a type of diffuser with perforated face. The core is same as normal square ceiling diffuser. How we select perforated square ceiling diffuser? like normal square ceiling diffuser it is also of four types it is one way type this is two way it is three way and it is four way and this performance sheet is for selection of four way type perforated ceiling diffuser the first column is showing the neck size in millimeter and the top row is showing the neck velocity in meter per second then this boxes in between it is showing for each size there is air flow in meter cubic per hour then throw in meter then nc level so from any of this box you can select the cfm throw and nc level as per your requirement then you can select the corresponding neck size of the perforated ceiling diffuser the throw data in this table is for four way type If you need to select for three-way or two-way or one-way type, then you need to multiply the throw by this correction factor. It means for three-way type, you need to multiply by 1.05. For two-way type, you need to multiply the throw by 1.1. And for one-way type, you need to multiply this throw in the table by 1.15. Disk valve, where we use it and how to select. Disc valve are widely used for exhaust inlet in washroom and bathrooms. The commonly used nominal sizes are 4 inch, 6 inch, and 8 inch. The disc of the disc valve is fixed with a screw that is fixed with the body, and you can control the air flow and NC level, sound level, by rotating this disc. if you rotate the disc in such a way that it go outward then the air flow will be increases and the sound and c value will be decreases if you rotate this disc in such a way that it go inside then the air flow will be decreases and the sound level will increase you can see from this table this table is for 8 inch size disc valve this row is showing the air flow and nc level when the disc at is zero position so when we rotate it it comes outward it go in the plus you can see here is the plus so you can see the cfm value in plus going increasing and you can use this disc for 8 inch size up to 240 cfm with nc level 25 but if you rotate this disc in such a way that it go inside in the minus then you can see even for 120 cfm the nc level became 33 
so you can adjust this disk by rotating as per your requirement of CFM and NC level. Ceiling swill diffuser is used for high areas like in airport and malls etc. It has fixed and adjustable blades to control the air pattern. We can use it for horizontal flow pattern as well as for vertical throw pattern. It can be used for air flow starting from 65 liter per second up to 1080 liter per second. We use ceiling swill diffuser to supply air for high areas. It came with fixed horizontal blade and adjustable blade that can be adjusted from 0 degree to vertical 90 degree. You can adjust this angle as per your throw requirement. To select the swill ceiling diffuser there are different tables according to the models. In this table the first column is showing the nominal diameter of the diffuser. Here is the air flow in liter per second and this one is sound level. So first you need to select the air flow then you need to check the NC level for it if it is acceptable. If it is not acceptable then you go for the next size then check from there then accordingly you can select the size of the swill ceiling diffuser. We can install it in different ways with plenum like here or freely suspended installation like uh, you can see here or with false ceiling also. Non-vision transfer grill or sometimes we call it door grills. Non-vision transfer grills are designed to be installed in doors or partitions they allow free movement but you cannot see through these grills from other side. This table is used to select the non-vision transfer grill or door grill. The first column is showing the different sizes for the door grill in inches and the top row is showing the face velocity for these grills. The face velocity starts from 300 fpm and up to 800 fpm. As we know 800 fpm also there is no issue for sound and the between portion is showing the air flow in CFM for all these sizes of the grill so you can select these sizes of the grill for any of these CFM but it is recommended to select the grill for a maximum face velocity of 500 fpm you can see it is the section for the door grill so the air will enter from here then will go like this so air can pass but you cannot see through it if you will try to see you will see this blade will not allow you to see for other side this table is from carrier handbook we can use it to select the neck velocities for grill and diffuser for broadcast studio we can you have a neck velocity from 300 up to 500 fpm for residence, apartment, churches, mosque, temple, hotel bedroom, private offices, we can have a neck velocity for the grill from 500 up to 750 fpm. For theaters, we can have up to 1000 fpm. Private offices, we can have from 500 up to 800 fpm. General offices, we can have from 1000 to 1250 fpm for departmental stores upper floors neck velocity we can have up to 1500 fpm and for departmental store main floor we can have a neck velocity up to 2000 fpm as per ashray 2019 table 9 the maximum neck velocity for grill and diffuser depends on the permissible sound level for that area you can see from this table for supply air outlet if the maximum sound level is 45 then you can have a velocity for neck up to a maximum 625 fpm for NC level 40 we can have a maximum neck velocity 560 fpm for NC level 35 we can use maximum velocity 500 fpm and for 30 NC level the maximum neck velocity we can use as 425 fpm and for NC level 25 or below we can use neck velocity for grill or diffuser 350 fpm 
for return error for a maximum NC value 45 we can use an egg velocity 750 fpm for NC value 40 we can use neck velocity 675 for NC value 35 we can use next velocity 600 for NC value 30 we can use neck velocity 500 and for NC value 25 or less we can use a neck velocity of 425 fpm as per ASHRAE 2019 the sound level for residence and apartment is maximum up to 30 NC for mortals individual rooms or suite 25 to 35 meeting and banquet 25 to 35 corridors and lobbies 35 to 45 services and support areas 35 to 45 for office buildings executive and private offices 25 to 35 conference room 25 to 35 teleconference room 25 maximum open plans offices 45 maximum with sound masking 35 maximum circulation and lobbies 45 to 40 to 45 for performing art spaces, drama theatres and concert halls 25, music teaching studios 25, music practice room 30 to 35. For courtroom, an amplified speech 25 to 35, amplified speech 30 to 40. For clinics and hospitals, private room 30, operating room 35, corridors and public areas 40. For laboratories, testing research 50, research extensive telephone use, speech communication 40 to 40, 50, group teaching 35 to 45. For churches, mosques and temples, general assembly with critical music program 25 to 35. For schools, classroom 25 to 30, large lecture room 25 to 30 without speech amplification 25 maximum and libraries 30 to 40 indoor stadium or gymnasium gymnasium 40 to 50 large seating capacity space with amplified speech 45 to 50 when we select the grill and diffuser one question arise in our mind what is the meaning of this sound level how we recognize them so this table will help you to understand this. The NC level 10 is same like human breath. NC level 20 is same as rustling leaves. NC level 30 is like whisper. NC level 40 same as small electric clock. NC level 160 like an big aircraft take off similarly when we are shouting it is same as nc level 90 so from this table you can have the idea of sound level what is the meaning of the nc value and how we can recognize them